Hey everyone, David here with Headset Advisor. Hope you're doing well today. In this video, we're gonna take an in-depth review of the new Epos Expand ADT USB speakerphone. This is a speakerphone that's designed for your huddle rooms or conference rooms at the office. You have up to about 16 people that can communicate through this device. And we're gonna plug it in, test it of course, like we always do. And this is the channel, Headset Advisor, that we review and compare all of the latest business technology, such as your headsets, speaker phones, and webcams. So consider hitting that subscribe button. All right, let's get into the review right now. All right, so let's open it up and see what's inside. So, they have the speaker phone wrapped in some nice plastic. Let's see if I can get it out here. There it is. You also have some accessories and of course the manual. Nothing. Have a USB cable, have a power adapter, and then you have international plugs, which we're not gonna use here. All right, let's get this thing opened up and see what's inside here. All right, so here it is. Of course, Epos has a, a higher end finish to their products than I think some of the other brands out there. It just has this nice metal bezel on the outside of the speaker phone. It has this cloth to cover up uh, the speakers here. It just gives it a nice fit and finish. This is something that you could set on your boardroom table and be proud to look at. You know, it's not some cheap, uh, cheap looking uh, device on your table. So this looks really, really nice. But the big question is, how does this thing perform? So we're gonna see uh, how it performs here in just a second. So stay tuned. We're gonna plug it in and test the microphone and the speakers on this so you can hear for yourself how it works. Then it looks like it also has a USB dongle this is a Bluetooth USB dongle in case you want to pair up a headset or another Bluetooth device to this uh, speakerphone so you can use it as a pass through to your USB device. So that is the unboxing. You got your power adapter, you got your USB C cable, and then you have the converter from USB C to USB A. So if you have a computer that only has USB A, you can use the converter. Otherwise, it's a USB-C to USB-C connection from the speakerphone to your computer. So let's get it plugged in and see how it sounds. All right, so now we've plugged in the speakerphone to power and then also the USB-C cable we plugged into the computer. Now this speakerphone uh, is rated up to 16 participants, but if you notice on the back of the speakerphone here, there's two ports for external microphones. So you can plug in two extra mic pods so you can get uh, participants' voice to pick up. So if you have a large table, for example, you can plug in two extra microphones here on the table so that everybody's voice can be heard on the other end of a call. So that is uh, pretty neat and that allows you to get more people in on a uh, phone call and conversation. So this is a USB speaker phone, but it's also Bluetooth. So if you're using, maybe you call into some, you know, conference call, uh, a Teams meeting through your cell phone, you pair it up to this device and you can actually have a full conference call through your cell phone through this speaker phone. And then of course the standard way and the best way of course is through the USB cable. So typical setup is going to be speakerphone in your conference room connected via USB to a computer of some kind for your Teams meeting, for your Zoom, any of your video conferencing or audio conferencing calls that are through your computer. That's the typical setup for this speakerphone. And this is the uh, ADT, and the T just means Teams. So if you notice here, there's actually a, a Microsoft Teams button at the top here, and that's going to allow you to interact with your Microsoft Teams interface. So if you push the button, it's gonna pull up your Microsoft Teams and you can make your call. Or if you're getting a phone call, since it's Teams optimized, you'll just be able to hit the answer button and be able to pick up your Microsoft Teams call, which is really cool. So 
Let us get to uh, testing the speaker on this so you can hear what it sounds like, see how much volume it gets. Now, before you do that, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. That really helps us out. We'd greatly appreciate it. And consider hitting that subscribe button. All right, so we have it plugged into the computer and we have some audio set to go. And I forewarn you here, this is gonna be slightly boring, but we've gotten some YouTube comments lately about uh, speakerphone test. I typically play music. So we're gonna play uh, a typical meeting so you can see what voices sound like and then we'll play some music right after that so that you're not uh, too bored with this meeting. Go ahead and start it. Councilor Beta, you're now host of the meeting, okay? Okay, thank you. Okay, so I'll, we have second, a, I'll second the motion, Mr. Chair. Okay, we have a motion by Councilwoman Via Rial and a second by Councilwoman Carol Romero Worth. Uh, all those in favor say aye. Or do Mr. we need to do a, a roll well, call? Yeah. Yes, sir, we have to do a roll call vote. Okay, on every thing. I'm sorry. Um, Councilor Romano all right, Jeff, Go ahead and pause yeah. that. All right, so now we're gonna play some music. And just so you know, you can see from the decibel reading here, my voice is being read at about 70 to maybe 80. Uh, a typical um, conversation is about that many decibels. And as you can tell, once I maxed out the volume, which you can adjust with these buttons here, uh, went over 85. So if you think about a larger conference room, and this uh, room that we're recording in is uh, maybe the size of a small conference room. So this gives you a real idea of what it's gonna sound like. All right, Jeff, go ahead and hit the music. <laughs> All right, so overall uh, voice clarity on that meeting, uh, I thought was super uh, clear and I was able to hear the voices very, very well. So you're gonna be able to uh, have a meeting with other people, especially if they're on you know, cell phones or they're coming in on a remote a Zoom session or something like that. You're gonna be able to hear them loud and clear. Now, from the music perspective, I felt like it was lacking a little bit of uh, the bass, but that's not a concern when you're talking about a speakerphone for meetings and conferences. So uh, overall, uh, it's plenty, plenty loud enough, and it sounds uh, crystal clear as far as people's voices. So what we're gonna do next is we're gonna test the microphone on this speakerphone so that you can get an idea of what the other side of a phone call or a meeting will sound like. So let's get started. All right, so now my voice is coming through the speakerphone here. So this is what it sounds like on the other end of a meeting. And this model specifically is designed for Microsoft Teams, but of course it'll work with uh, Zoom, Ring Central meetings, whatever video conferencing platform you work with, it'll work. It's just, this is optimized for Microsoft Teams so you can hit these buttons and actually interact with your Microsoft Teams uh, software. There's also the Expand 80, which does not have the Teams software pre-built onto the speakerphone. Just a footnote on that. So I did wanna explain really quickly the USB dongle here. What this is for is in case you don't want to connect your speakerphone to the computer with the USB cable. Maybe it's too short as the included one is like five or six feet long. So if your computer's maybe like 15 feet away, you can plug in the included USB dongle and pair it up so it's wireless to your computer. But it's not completely wireless because you still have the power cable which needs to be plugged in which is about five feet away from the power plug. But at least you have a secondary option on the USB cable side of things. So there is not a battery in the speakerphone. I just wanna just get that out of the way here really quick. You know that we're on uh, the conference because this green light is on there. That's how you know, as well as paired up there via Bluetooth. So let's do some more tests here so that you can get an idea of how well it sounds. One big issue with speakerphones is that if you're on the you know long end of a speakerphone, can people hear your voice? If not, it creates a frustrating experience. So I'm gonna start stepping away from the speakerphone so you can see how well these microphones pick up. And there's nine digital MEMS uh, microphones built into the speaker. So it's doing a good job of 
trying to pick up voices from all directions. So let me step to the side here. All right, so this is about five to eight feet away from the speakerphone. This is what it would sound like, especially depending upon how big your uh, conference table is. This is what it sounds like. Now I'm going to take this, uh, you know, test to the extreme. I'm going to step to the other side of the room off camera here. Jeff should be grabbing me. Yes, I'm in flip flops if you see that, so don't judge. Um, okay, so this is about uh, 15 feet away, and I'm not talking super loud, but I am definitely talking more than I was just a second ago. So this is what you can expect it to sound like at about 15 feet away. All right, so I'm going to come back here, and then we're going to take this test to the next level here. So that gives you a good idea. Oh, before I move on to the next test, uh, really quickly, uh, that's why there are, uh, you probably didn't hear my voice perfectly clear. That's because there's a port on the bottom of the speakerphone that is designed for extending the microphone. So that's the biggest issue is picking up voice. Um, there's the two ports. So typically what you would do is you would put this speakerphone in the center of the table. Then you put two wired mic pods here connecting to the speakerphone so that if you're sitting on this side of the table and this side of the table, that everybody's voice can be heard loud and cleared by whoever you're talking to on the other end of a phone call. So I uh, just wanted to let you know about that. So now, of course, let us do our famous blender test. So I'm gonna pause, get hooked up and get our decibel reader so that we can see how much noise canceling this does or doesn't do. So let's see. All right, so this is gonna be a bit of an extreme example here, but we're gonna see if there does any noise cancellation. And this blender is about three feet away from the speakerphone here. So let us fire it up and see if you can still hear my voice here. All right, so this is what it sounds like if you've got a blender on. Imagine you have an air conditioning unit and you're talking and maybe there's some, you know, you're at a call center or something like that where there's distracting noises. You know, you wanna be able to hear your voice loud and clear. So I'm gonna be quiet so you can see how loud the blender is. It's about 75, 76 decibels here. All right, I'm gonna stop that as this is definitely an extreme example, but the point is uh, if this does any noise cancellation or noise isolation at all, so I'm kind of curious, love to get your feedback on that. What did you think of the overall microphone quality of this speakerphone? Did, were you able to hear my voice loud and clear, whether it was close or whether it was the 15 feet away? And also, how did it do against the blender here? Did you hear my voice at all? Put your thoughts in the comment section below. Would love to hear what you think about that. All right, so overall, uh, you heard the speakers, you heard the microphone. And overall, you want to know the price. So this is MSRP price of $719. And of course, it's available on our website for less. Just check out the link in the video description below. And also make sure you use coupon code YouTube, all one word. That's going to get you the best discount possible on this unit. So definitely go check it out. But uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button because we're going to be comparing this against the highly popular Jabra Speak 810, which is very, very comparable and very popular. So we're gonna see how it compares to the Jabra Speak 810. So make sure you uh, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on that video when we release it. All right, what did you think of the overall performance of the Epos Expand ADT? Uh, me personally, I really enjoyed all of the performance of the speakers, the microphones, uh, definitely easy to use, which is always a big plus. So curious to hear your feedback, put your thoughts in the comment section below, but I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you hit that thumbs up button and subscribe. I recently did an in-depth review of a whole video bar. So it has a speaker, microphone, and camera built in. That's uh, a little bit more on the price, but it has everything included in one package. It's designed for more of your huddle rooms. So if you're interested, take a look at that Bose VB1 uh, video right here. I think you might like that. Otherwise, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on future video reviews and comparison. Well, that's all I got for you today. Thanks a lot for tuning in. We'll see you next time.